Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of Amplify Texture 2 Feature Overview. In the upcoming weeks we will walk you through the new features available in the latest iteration of our texture virtualization technology. In this video we will cover multi-tile UV support in Unity, general workflow overview using Mari, ZBrush, Mudbox and their respective naming conventions, virtualized displacement and tessellation support. In Amplify Texture 2, you will be able to take advantage of common multi-tile UV workflows. A process originally developed for VFX and film, it's quickly making its way into video games and simulations. Without multi-tile UVs, each model would only be able to have one texture per channel inside the 0 to 1 UV space. One diffuse, one normal and so on. With multi-tile UVs, you will be able to have virtually unlimited amounts of textures per channel without dividing your model into different material IDs. In the past, if you wanted to use more than one texture per channel, you would need to have different IDs on your assets and repeated shaders using different textures. The more textures used, the harder it would be to manage the asset without multi-tile UVs. With Amplify Texture 2, you can take advantage of this type of workflow and go beyond the default 0 to 1 UV space. Each patch you see here is an independent texture in the diffuse channel, and they can all have a correspondent normal map, displacement or any other type while using just one material at the cost of a single draw call. We simplified the process of using this type of workflow with Unity and our technology. By selecting the first patch of a channel collection, in this case the diffuse channel, Amplify Texture 2 will automatically detect the format, import the necessary files to the virtual texture and assign them to the appropriate UV coordinates. Each patch collection, regardless of the number of files imported, is considered to be one texture. There is no additional overhead or loss of performance when using this method. That's all you need to do in order to use multi-tile UVs with Unity and Amplify Texture 2. For simplicity's sake, in this example we are only using 33 4K patches, but you could easily go higher than that. Imagine doing this simple scene without using multi-tile UVs. You would have to break up the mesh, repeat materials, and it would be a real hassle to change anything. As you know, Amplify Texture allows you to use virtually unlimited amounts of textures, and that's where the real fun begins. Our technology will handle all the patches extremely well, be it diffuse maps, normals or any other type, you can paint across several tiles effortlessly and detail your assets as needed. You can even paint across different models without any sort of limitations. When you're done, simply go back to Unity and update the patch collection. We strongly recommend the use of Mari from the Foundry, it's a great choice for high-level texture painting. A great tool that not only will save you time, but will boost you beyond your limits. In the future, we will expand on Mari to amplify Texture 2 connectivity, allowing for even more innovative and responsive production methods. One of the new features of Amplify Texture 2 is the use of virtualized displacement maps. Up until now, most users avoided using displacement and tessellation due to common computing limitations. With Amplify Texture 2, you will be able to use large amounts of displacement textures, not only on scenery, but also on dynamic models such as characters, vehicles or any other type you may require. Taking advantage of the multi-tile workflow using Mudbox, ZBrush or other sculpting and painting software, users will be able to paint displacement across multiple tiles without any issues. After sculpting your mesh, simply export the patches created and update them in your Unity project. Mainstream programs like Mari, ZBrush and Mudbox all support multi-tile UV workflows. To export multi-tile datasets from Mudbox, simply use the traditional map extract command. In ZBrush, use the multi-map exporter. You can even choose the naming convention of the dataset, Mari Udim, Mudbox or ZBrush. Mari is very flexible. In a way similar to traditional image editing software, you can export individual or combined layers, channels and much more. The import method and overall workflow is the same as the one used for diffuse maps shown earlier. Amplify Texture 2 will detect the type of patch collection and import them automatically. Let's recap the features demonstrated. Amplify Texture 2 provides full support for multi-tiled UVs using Mari, ZBrush, Mudbox or similar software that abides to common naming conventions. Regardless of the number, groups of textures, for example a set of diffuse patches, is considered to be one texture, at a cost of a single draw call. 
No overhead or loss of performance is noted when using multi-tile UVs. You can still use single-tile traditional textures, like you did with Amplify Texture 1. But we strongly recommend that you try this new type of workflow. You will see overall quality increases and production times will likely decrease. Amplify Texture 2 supports virtualized displacement and tessellation. Go beyond normal limitations and unleash your creativity. Be it with scenes, terrains, characters or any other type of asset you may require. Full support for Mario Dim tiles, ZBrush, Mudbox and compatible naming conventions. We simplify the process so you don't have to do any additional work. Simply create and import, be it diffuse, normal or displacement maps, as long as it adheres to common multi-tile naming conventions, it will be automatically processed. The use of more textures usually comes at a cost regarding disk space. That is why Amplify Texture 2 employs efficient variable bitrate, high compression and high quality algorithms. You'll be able to preserve quality and reduce storage requirements. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed this quick look at some of the new features available in Amplify Texture 2. We will soon release part 2 of this series. Stay tuned and visit Amplify.pt for more information. The first development version will soon be available to early adopters that pre-order directly through our website. Join dozens of other developers that already chose Amplify Texture 1 and 2 as their solution for virtual texturing in Unity. Pre-order today!